Hello and welcome to a beginner's friendly Hatha Yoga class. So starting seated in a comfortable position, removing the flesh away from your seat and then lifting through the crown of the head, the sternum and the spine. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears and relax them down your back and then soften your gaze or close your eyes. Taking a moment to pay attention to your breath. Just notice it, what it feels like, where it's going, how deep or shallow it is. Notice how the body moves to accommodate the breath. And as you exhale, feel yourself settle into your sits bones and your shoulders melt down your back. As you breathe in, feel like the crown of your head is reaching up towards the ceiling and the spine is lengthening. I want you to try to lengthen the inhale and the exhale slowly bringing the breath into the body, filling the lungs from the bottom up. And then as you exhale, slowly breathing out, letting the air come out and pulling the belly button in towards the spine to press out the last of the air, in and out through the nose. One more big deep breath, your biggest breath of the day. And then bringing your hands to your shoulders as close to it as you can. And then bring the elbows forward and up and back and down making big circles with your elbows. Noticing how your body feels as you try to move your arms through this range of motion, taking your time. And then switch directions, bringing the elbows down and back, up and forward. And then slowing that down, placing your hands, palms up on your knees, close your eyes, and then just notice the circulation, the energy in your forearms and your hands. Taking a big breath in. And then flipping your palms onto your knees, palms down. Inhale, lift through the chest, look up towards the ceiling, but be careful with how far you're tipping back. And extending the spine, using your hands to pull your chest forward. Exhale to round your spine, looking down towards your belly button, hanging onto your knees for support so you can allow yourself to really curve the spine. So we're gonna inhale into extension, lifting the gaze up, pulling the hands into the knees, lifting through the chest. Exhale, rounding and curling the spine, tucking the gaze. A couple more like this with your own breath. Slowing that down, we're going to come onto our hands and knees into a tabletop position, knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders, fingertips spread wide. If you need to, you can come up onto your fists or if you want a little bit more support for your knees, you can fold over the mat 
and place your knees down that way. So then we're coming in to thread the needle. We're going to inhale our left arm out to the side, up towards the ceiling. Exhale, swoop the left arm underneath the right arm, lying down on the outside of the left shoulder, left cheek down towards the mat. And then keeping your right hand in front of your face, or you could drape it across your low back, maybe tucking it into the left hip crease. Taking a couple big breaths here. And then bringing your right hand in front of your face, if it's not there already, fingertips spread wide or onto your fists. And then sweep the left arm out to the side, back up towards the ceiling. Look up at the hand. Exhale, lower down into tabletop. Coming into it on the other side. So left fingertips spread wide. Then reach the right arm out to the side and up towards the ceiling. Look up. Exhale, swoop the right arm underneath the left leg on the outside of the right shoulder, right cheek down towards the mat. Then keeping your right left hand in front of your face, or you could drape it across the low back, maybe tucking it into the hip crease on the right hand side. And then taking a couple really big breaths here. And then placing your left hand back in front of your face, if it isn't there already, fingertips spread wide or the fist, and then reach the right arm out to the side and up towards the ceiling. And then lowering the right hand down. And then we're going to come into downward facing dog. So untucking the knees, the mat if it's folded underneath the knees, and then fingertips um, spread wide, hands just slightly in front of the shoulders. And then we're going to tuck the toes and then lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So more emphasis on the length in the spine than the length in the legs. So bend through your knees as much as you need to. And you're going to press the fingertips into the mat. Reach your chest towards your thighs. Relax your heels down towards the earth. And let your head hang heavy. Maybe shaking in a little no, a little yes. Shoulder blades relax down your back. Lifting your sits bones up towards the ceiling. Taking a couple really big breaths here. And then we're going to walk out the dog, alternately lifting and lowering the heels, shifting the hips side to side, getting some mobility through the ankles and the hips, stretching out the back of the legs, breathing deeply. And then slowing that down. We're going to inhale the right leg back and up, reaching it away from your fingertips, keeping the pelvis neutral. This is a three legged dog. And then drawing the right knee into the chest and stepping in between the hands, coming into a lunge position, stacking the right knee over top of the ankle, and then lowering the back knee down. If you need some support underneath that back knee, putting a folded up blanket or a, a soft block, chip phone block underneath that would be good. So staying low here, where you're pulling the right hip back, Squeezing the left glute. Imagining like you're squeezing the legs towards the midline energetically. And 
and you can stay low here or if you want to come a little further you can bring your hands up onto your right knee and then just feeling your pelvis sink into this hip stretch you can stay here or you can reach the left arm out to the side and up overhead reaching over to the right hand side getting a longer and deeper pull from the left fingertips down the arm the side body and into the left hip flexor and quadriceps taking a couple really big breaths wherever you are frame the front foot and then tucking the left toes lifting the left knee extending it and then sweeping the right foot back and up into three-legged dog reaching the right foot back and up and then lowering it down into downward facing dog and walking out the dog a couple times here shoulder blades relax down your back Bending through your knees as much as you need to, reaching the chest towards the thighs and the sits bones up to the sky. Head relaxed. And then slowing that down, coming into it on the other side, reaching the left leg back and up, three-legged dog, reaching it away. And then bending through the left knee and sweeping it under the body to step it between the hands. Stacking the left knee over top of the ankle, lowering the right knee back down. Putting support under there if needed. And then staying low here, pulling the left hip back, squeezing the right glute, energetically squeezing the legs towards the midline. Staying low here, or you can come up onto the left knee. Feel the pelvis sink into this pose. Breathe into where you feel the stretch. And if you want to come further, reaching the right arm out to the side and up overhead over to the left hand side. Feeling the stretch deepen and breathing into it. A couple big breaths wherever you are. And then lowering the hands down to frame the front foot if it's not, they're not there already. And then tucking the right toe, extending the right knee into a high lunge, and then sweeping the left leg back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, lower down to downward facing dog. Alternately lifting and lowering the heels. One more time, walking out the dog. And then walking your feet slowly up behind your wrists. You can let your hands float up if you need to. Bend into your knees as much as you need to here. Standing forward fold. Letting your head hang. Shaking it a little no, a little yes. Hanging on to opposite elbows. Breathing into your belly, feeling it press up against your thighs. As you exhale, feel your upper body get even heavier. Next exhale, completely empty the lungs. And then as you inhale, let your hands dangle and slowly ragdoll your spine up one vertebrae at a time with your head coming up last. And then once you're at the top, widening your, your stance, 
and letting your feet be loose and your whole body loose. We're gonna do swaying palms, swinging the arms side to side, letting the hands hit the body. Breathing deeply. And then slowing the swaying palm. And we're going to come into a balance pose, tree pose. So standing first with your hip width distance, your feet hip width distance apart. A slight bend in your knees, spine long, shoulders down and back, bringing your hands to heart center. Then we're going to shift our weight onto our right foot and then placing the heel of the left foot just above the right ankle and rotate the hip out, bringing the knee out to the side. And you can stay right here in tree pose, just working on finding your balance and your spine long here. Or you can bring the sole of the left foot anywhere along the inside of the right leg, but avoid pressing directly on the inside of the right knee. Finding your tree pose, couple big breaths here. Finding a spot to focus your attention, your dristy, maybe a few feet in front of you. And then lowering the left foot down, shaking the hips side to side, and then shifting the weight onto the left foot. Spine long, shoulders relaxed, and then bringing the heel of the right foot just above the left ankle, rotating the right knee out to the side, maybe staying here. You might find you're more balanced on one side than the other, or placing the sole of the right foot anywhere on the inside of the left leg, avoiding pressure right into the knee. And then breathing in length through the spine, reaching the crown of the head up, as you exhale, feel your weight sink into the left foot, the shoulder blades relax. Couple breaths here. If you come out of the pose, that's okay, just come back in. And then lowering the right foot down, shaking the hips side to side, and then coming down onto your seat with your feet hip width distance apart, knees bent, we're going to slowly roll down onto our backs, tucking the shoulder blades under, tucking the chin in towards the chest, and then crossing the right thigh over top of the left thigh tightly and then drawing the knees into the chest. Left hand on the right knee, right hand on the left knee. Relax through the sacrum in the low back. And as you pull the knees in towards you, feel your back relaxing. Breathing into your thighs. Exhaling to relax the body and draw the knees in just slightly more. Big breaths here. And then lowering the left foot down to the mat, keeping the legs crossed, bringing your arms up at shoulder height into a T position or into cactus arms where you bend the elbows. And then press the sole of the left foot into the mat. Pick up your hips, shift them over to the right hand side of the mat, and then roll onto the left hip, bringing the knees over to the left hand side. 
And then you can use the left hand to anchor the right knee down if that feels good. And then looking up at the ceiling or if you would like to, looking over the right shoulder to the supine spinal twist. Breathing deeply, breathe to where you feel the pull. And then as you exhale, feel yourself relax into it. Your muscle tension let go. Slow, long breaths here. Rotating your head back up towards the ceiling if it's off to the side. Engage your core and gently lift the knees back up through center. Pressing the sole of the left foot into the mat to pick up the hips and bring them back into the middle of the mat. And then switching the legs around. Left thigh over top of the right thigh and then draw both knees into the chest. Left hand on the right knee, right hand on the left knee. Noticing if this side maybe has more range of motion or you're more restricted. Being aware and then breathing into your belly as it presses up against your thighs. As you exhale, feel yourself relax, especially in through the sacrum. Tucking the chin down towards the chest. Long breaths here. And then lowering the right foot down to the mat, bringing your arms into a T position or cactus arms, and then pressing the sole of the foot into the mat, picking the hips up and moving them over to the left hand side, and then rolling onto the right hip. And then you can use your right hand to anchor down the left knee if that feels good. There should be no pinching. If there's any pinching, wiggle yourself around until you don't have any. And then keeping your gaze up at the ceiling or rotated over to the left. And then feeling yourself sink with each exhale, letting go of just a little bit more muscle tension. As you breathe in, breathe into where you feel it pulling. One more really gigantic breath here. And then rotate your head back up towards the ceiling if it's off to the side. Tighten through the core and then gently bring the legs back up. 
and then press into the sole of the right foot. Pick up your hips and then draw them back into the center. Align to the legs and draw both knees into the chest. And show the the fingers across the shins or left hand, left knee, right hand, right knee. And you're rocking side to side, giving your low back a little bit of a massage. Slowing that down, bringing the soles of your feet down onto the mat. Hip width distance apart, knees bent. Bring your arms alongside your body, palms facing down. Tuck the shoulders down under the back. Tuck your chin towards your chest, coming into little bridge pose. You can keep your arms here, or you can bring bend into the elbows and face the palms towards one another. And then taking the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Imagining little strings around the bony parts of your pelvis and pulling them up towards the ceiling. And take three big breaths here. On your last exhale down, slowly leg that was spine down, one vertebrae at a time. And then coming into your final savasana, extending the knees, letting the feet flop out to the sides, elbows extended, palms facing up, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Allow yourself to be in the present moment. Letting go of all the muscle tension. Noticing how your body is being supported by the surface below you. a big breath here. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Inhale to reach your arms up overhead and your toes away from your fingertips for a full body stretch as you're breathing in. Exhale, let your body get heavy in this position. And then bend through your knees, placing the soles of your feet on your mat, rolling over onto one side, letting your bottom arm be a Act as a pillow, and then use your top hand to press yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Thank you for taking this time to care for your mind, your body, and your soul. Namaste.